Well, here we are again, um, end of January 2017, and we've seen the unelected High Court, or Supreme Court, uh, decide that uh, 17 million people in Britain's voices and democratic mandate is unimportant, and they have blocked Brexit again. It's the second time in a few months. And who took this case? Well, a investment banker, an elitist, called, well, people are calling her Gina Miller. Her real name is Gina Nadira Singh. And she wasn't, wasn't born in Britain, she was born in Guyana. So, we have a vote, 17 million people plus in Britain, the biggest referendum ever in the history of this country, turn out and vote for Britain to leave the EU. Sounds like a fair deal, done and dusted, that's the essence of democracy. And a foreign born woman, investment banker, decides to use her money, wealth and power, which this country has provided her, to attack the country that's given her such a good living. You could not make this up. Now, she said a very interesting thing. She said this outside the court today. Only Parliament can grant rights to the British people and only Parliament can take them away. I want to repeat that. Only Parliament can grant rights to the British people and only Parliament can take them away spoken as only a foreigner could speak, because she obviously has no conception of the English Civil War. What has happened here is exactly what King Charles tried. And this nonsense that the Parliament is sovereign, well, technically it is, but it's only sovereign in a context that has been given sovereignty by the sovereignty of the people has been transferred to Parliament as our mouthpiece to act as we dictate. And we had a referendum, which the people clearly stated we want to leave the EU Parliament, use it our sovereignty, because sovereignty lies always with the people. But we have given this to the Parliament to act on our behalf. There's nothing clearer, there's nothing complicated about this. You don't have to be a political analyst to understand this. This is what we fought the civil war on, this very principle. The people are sovereign in Britain. The people are sovereign, not the king, not the queen, not any government, no politicians, and certainly not unelected judges, and certainly not a foreign-born foreigner. The sovereignty of the British people is sacred. The decisions that we make should be taken seriously. We made the decision, and then through our parliament, who are only supposed to act as our mouthpiece, as the instrument of our will, the Brexit should have been implemented by now. This is a serious, serious thing. Now remember, the day after the Brexit vote, I made a video. Some of you might remember it, maybe not. I made a video and I told everybody this is exactly what would happen. Now people today are saying, don't worry, it's a minor thing. The Brexit will still go ahead. Don't be fooled. You know, you get fooled once, fair enough. Fooled twice, you're an idiot. I told you then, I'll tell you again. They will do everything they possibly can to stop this and they will stop it because if Britain leaves the EU, the EU collapses. And Europe will be in a situation they were in in the 1920s. They'll be taking home their wages and wheelbarrows. So do you honestly think we'll be allowed to leave? No. And let us remember this. This uh, Mrs. Nadira Singh, or as she likes to be called now, Gina Miller, she forgets that during the Civil War, 1642-1649, more men died in Britain than in the First and Second World War. Five times more in proportion than the Second War, and three times more than the horrors of the First War. One in ten of the adult male population in this country died to fight this very principle that she walked over today in the High Court. You know, we had Edge Hill, Marston Moore, Naseby. We don't have to go cap in hand and ask Parliament to grant us our rights. We have the rights. We did not ask for them. We fought for them. Our fathers, our grandfathers and our ancestors died in their hundreds of thousands to ensure that we had these rights. We don't have to go cap in hand and beg Parliament to grant us rights, as Miss Miller said, and the judges. Only Parliament can grant us our rights. Really? What are we living under? King Charles tried this and it led to a civil war. We have the rights because our fathers and grandfathers earned them for us. Not by voting, but from dying fighting and dying in their millions over the years. Your father, my father, our grandfathers, our ancestors, and today these High Court judges, and all the other people who want to overturn democracy, and especially this Gina Miller, have spat on the graves of millions of our British war dead. Your grandfathers, 
my grandfathers, your ancestors, my ancestors, she has spat on their graves. People of Britain, wake up before it's too late. Wake up and fight to defend our democracy through the legal means and make sure that every one of these snakes who are behind us are voted out the next election. God be with you.